So imagine this, it's 1999, I'm six years old, probably rocking a Star Wars Phantom Menace t-shirt, you know, the one with the pod racers on it. I'm big chilling, playing some Super Mario 64 in my living room when my mom comes home with this big ass box. I'm thinking, hell yeah, I'm getting some new video games, maybe a Lego set, or even better, your boy about to have a beanbag situation on his hands. <laughs> nope. She opens up the box and inside I find probably the most bland and adult looking piece of technology ever witnessed in my six years of being a person. A computer. Specifically a Hillwit Packard PC with mouse keyboard, got that printer bundle on deck, and most importantly fully loaded with Microsoft Windows 98, second edition. Naturally, I'm disappointed because when you're a kid in the 90s, if it wasn't a Nerf pistol, a Super Soaker, or a GoldenEye 64 coming out the box, your boy ain't interested. So she sets the thing up and we boot it up for the first time. Now my mom has never owned a computer before and shit, probably never even used one in her life. But I'm in elementary school at the time and at school they had this computer lab where they would take us like twice a week or some shit and we would play these games where you type out words and stop this evil computer virus dude from taking over Grammar City or something like that. You know, this game. Mask. Lamp. Lemon. Iridocyclitis. So what's my point here? For once in my life, I was actually better than my parents at something. Forgive me for my wrongs, I have just begun. I already knew how to use a computer, at least on a pretty basic level, so I'm feeling like the man right now. I'm over here opening up programs, deleting shit to the recycle bin, copying and pasting on fools, catch me on MS Paint stroking. I even got my dad to plug on that free cell. Everybody was eating because of your boy. About a month after we got the computer, my family decided to sign up for AOL and we were connected to the internet for the first time. You've got mail. Now a lot of you who are around my age or older will remember how shitty dial-up internet was. Not only would it take like five minutes to finally be connected, but websites loaded so damn slow, like you would be reasonably satisfied if a page loaded within two minutes and that was on a good day. And to make things worse, you would get disconnected if someone picked up the phone or called your landline, so basically there was a lot of luck involved with using it. You had to plan for the shit. Like, I remember asking my parents if they had any phone calls to make. We would get the phone calls out of the way, and then I would use it, only to get disconnected by some fucking telemarketer calling the house. I don't want to switch phone companies. You can stick us five cents Sundays up your fucking ass. But I'll be honest, this didn't stop me from using the internet, no, not one bit. In fact, I was thriving. My first memories of using the internet are going online to find cheat codes for my favorite video games at the time. Like, I remember getting Diddy Kong Racing cheat codes that let you keep your full speed while driving on grass, or the Big Head Mode cheat for NBA Jam on Super Nintendo. Like, this was just so amazing to me. Dial-up internet is also where I got to see a naked woman for the first time in my life. And when you were a kid, looking at this kind of stuff comes from a completely different place than where it does when you're an adult. This is one your dad will love. It's sports.com. Like when you're six, seven, or eight years old, you're not trying to spank it to the shit. It's more akin to like a rite of passage. Now I could say with confidence to all the other snot ass kids at school that I too have seen a naked lady on the internet. You love me. Do you already five? Yeah, five inches deep in your mom. <laughs> Speaking of snot-ass kids at school, at the time Pokemon cards were super popular and kids would trade cards under the bleachers in gym class like it was some kind of underground drug ring. Look, I got weed. You need Weedle? That's all I got. Oh, my Pokemon cards. You want my Pokemon cards? My parents thought Pokemon cards were a waste of money, so I only got new packs once in a blue moon. So naturally, my cards were shit. 
So I got the bright idea of printing off pictures of rare cards from the internet like Charizard and Alakazam and then gluing them on the front of shit cards like Bellsprout and Weedle and then try to pass them off as the real deal to other kids. Like, did anyone else do this or was I just a really stupid kid? Cause it seemed like a great idea at the time. Nope. That means I, I'm stupid? <laughs> Skip forward a few years. It's 2001. Windows XP is released, not only that, broadband internet service providers like Comcast started to pop up on the scene, however I wasn't fortunate enough to be blessed with this newfangled technology. I'm still over here in the stone age using this ancient Windows 98 computer with AOL dial up internet, like my parents just didn't see a reason to upgrade. See the problem was I would go over to my friends houses and they would all have these brand new computers with broadband internet and the shit was mind blowing to me like it was fast enough to where you could actually watch videos on these things. I'm talking funny junk albino black sheep type shit. And they even had the mini clip games and all that new stuff. I was just feeling so left out, man. Like it wasn't fair. Why are you crying? <laughs> oh, I begged and pleaded with my parents for years. I'm talking years. We didn't get Windows XP with broadband internet until 2004. 2004, that's three years I was stuck dealing with technology from the last decade. But once we got that new computer set up with high-speed internet coursing through it, my potential was infinite. There was no turning back.